Hey friend, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here listening to another episode of the Pattern Design Circle podcast. Here we talk all about the ins and outs of designing knit and crochet patterns and running a business that makes it all possible. I'm Jessica, your host, knitting pattern designer, design mentor, and the friend in your ear. Can't wait to dive right in. The Pattern Design Circle podcast is sponsored by the Pattern Design Circle a membership community for knit and crochet pattern designers that are feeling lost, lonely, or frustrated in their business. It connects you with a supportive community that's always eager to answer your questions and help you through the hard times. And there's loads of resources and activities specifically catered to business and designing. Sound like your jam? Check it out at snickerdoodleknits.com forward slash design dash circle. That's snickerdoodle like the cookie, knits, K-N-I-T-S dot com forward slash design dash circle. All right, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to another episode of Pattern Design Circle Podcast. I'm so excited to have you here chatting again. Um, In this episode, this mini-sode, we're actually talking about a new offer that I have. Um, And this is a class. So this is a class that I taught in person at a craft festival in March. So like two months ago. Um, And received some requests from my my folks online asking if I would do a virtual version. So I've heard you. Yes, I will. (laughs) Um, So I am teaching Introduction to Knit and Crochet Pattern Design class on Saturday, May 27th. Yes. Um, It'll be at noon Eastern time, but if you're not able to attend live, there's replays. And if you are able to attend live, there will be a replay. Um, But this is for you if you are curious about designing. You're you're just kind of wondering what is what's all this designing stuff about? What does it look like? What does it mean to to like create a design? What does that process look like? You're just really intrigued and you're curious. You're not really sure if you're you're headed that direction or not. And it's for you if you do know. You're like, I really, I, I'm really, really interested in trying out this whole designing thing. Um, I think I'd, I'd love it. I just have nowhere, no idea where to start. Um, I just don't understand how all the pieces work together. I'm worried that I'm going to miss a step. I want my work to be really good, and so I just need a little bit of guidance along the way. And <clears throat> this is for you if you're a new designer, still just feeling a bit uneasy or lacking a little bit of self-confidence in your design process and your creativity, all of those things. That, if, if any of that describes you, I've created this class for you. Um, inside of the class, we will be talking, first of all, about creativity and inspiration. I strongly believe that we are all creative. And we just have to tap into that. We talk about different ways to um, create inspiration or to feel inspired for designs. And I walk you through my creative thought journey, which there is an episode you might have listened to. uh, Episode 44 on how and why I created the creative thought journey. So we will go through the creative thought journey on this in this class and walk through the, all the steps of it and with a prompt and talk about design ideas at the end. And then we will walk through the whole design process. Uh, I will share different ways that you can customize the design process to fit you because I do not believe in one size fits all approaches for pretty much anything in life. Um, so I talk about my process, the reason it is the way it is, how it's evolved a bit over the last four years I've been designing, and how some other designers work, and just just giving you the freedom, the permission, the flexibility to adjust that around however you need to best fit your style. That's the way your brain works, um, the amount of time that you have, any of that kind of stuff. 
We will then wrap up with talking about designers math. So part of the design process is calculating all of the numbers to put into a pattern so that somebody else can create the same thing. So this is where sizing comes in. This is where stitch motif repeats come in, all of this. So we talk about the fundamentals of designer's math, a uh, couple of equations, and then questions. So any questions that you have about designing, uh, any questions you have about what the class covered, that will be the end of the class. And I specifically know that <laughs> there is somebody who's already signed up for this class who's really definitely has questions about the designer's math. So I anticipate we might be diving deeper into that in the Q&A section. This class will be a 90 minute class and um, if, if you're not able to attend live, if you have questions that you want to pre-submit, absolutely do that. The class size is limited to a, a limited number of people. I, if this class goes well, <laughs> I absolutely would do anticipate I might be teaching it again in the future, uh, but I don't have any dates on that yet. So it's it's a limited number of students, myself as the teacher, learning how to design knit and crochet patterns. Given that's on Saturday, May 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern. I think I said noon. I apologize. 11 a.m. Eastern time. And a video replay will be available for all students. The class will be hosted on live on Zoom, again with the replay coming out. And, and really the whole purpose is to demystify the design process, the creativity process, and help you determine if, if designing's for you. I do see a lot in our industry of folks who are like, I've been knitting and crocheting for X number of years, so I feel like I have to become a designer. I feel like that's just the next thing I, I need to do to prove my worth, to prove that I am actually good in this industry, that kind of thing. I do not believe that that is true. Um, I don't think everybody has to be a designer. And if it's not a good fit for you, that's okay. There is zero shame attached to that whatsoever in my book. And I, I really want to help you, no matter what it is in life, help you really understand what is the best fit for you. And so for this class specifically, this is about really determining is designing for me? And if so, how do I design knitting or crochet patterns? How do I write that first pattern? What's the process that I need to go through? What does tech editing and test knitting and all of these different pieces look like? So that is the class. Uh, the, it's the price. <laughs> How do I? I don't know the wording. Um, it costs thirty dollars uh, U.S. dollars. And yeah, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to message me on Instagram at Pattern Design Circle. The link to sign up for the class is. Snickerdoodle, like the cookie, K N I T S, that's dot com slash intro dash design dash class. No, intro dash to dash design dash class. Um, if you click the link in the show notes, if you just click the description for this podcast episode, uh, there's a link there. It'll take you right there. You don't have to worry about knowing the URL. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. This is a topic that I'm I'm passionate about. I really do enjoy helping fellow designers, new, aspiring, existing, struggling, <laughs> all of the things. And you know, this is one of those topics that feels easy to share. I guess I don't know if you consider it like it's in my zone of genius. So it's like I'm. I'm very comfortable talking about this. I am always strive to be an open book so that I answer any questions that you have. And honestly, it's it's a fairly low investment, $30, just to dip your toes in the water and, and understand the process. Be confident to write your first knit crochet pattern. So 
if that's you, if you are really interested in learning how to design, I hope to see you there uh, May 27th, 2023. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Wow. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. If you found it valuable, please share the podcast with a designer friend. And if you have a minute, leave a review. It's so helpful for me and means the world to me. Chat soon.